So let me just introduce the speaker. So he is a professor at uh, Kogakuin University in Japan. Uh, his uh, main work is in giving a mathematically rigorous meaning to Feynman path integrals. And he's going to talk about some topic related to that today. Uh, so professor, please, uh, you can begin. Oh, thank you. Hi, I studied, uh, uh, can you hear my talk, uh, my, my voice? Yes, we can. I studied, yes, yes, yes. I studied a seed differential operator at the University of Tokyo, but I dreamed to do an analysis on path space. In 2004, I could write a paper about Feynman path integral and sent its offering to many researchers, maybe 100 or 200. Of course, there are a few responses. However, some kind of responses changed my life. A professor Wasdeba gave me many chance to talk and study at the TIFR camp. And thanks to a professor Wasdeba and the TIFR camp, I could continue passing integrals. And my paper is a treat a Schrodinger equation and the parabolic equation and the Euclidean space and the total space. But I Today, I mainly talk about a phase space path integral of parabolic type. Let me introduce the phase space path integrals. A capital T is a time parameter, and X run RD, and M is a positive number. Let UT0 be the fundamental solution for M's order parabolic equations. My <coughs> My results are valid in the Schrodinger case. So if you dislike a parabolic equation, you can regard this Schrodinger equations. UT0 is the operator. If we operate you to the function V, then UT0V satisfies the initial value problems. By the Fourier transform with respect to X0. Just a moment. And the inverse Fourier transform with respect to Cushy zero, we can write a function V as integral forms. And if we differentiate in X, then X is only here. So Cushy zero appears. In other words, we can, uh, we can change the differentiation with respect to X to the multiplication with respect to Cushy zero. So uh, we can rewrite Hamiltonian operator as a function of X and Cushy zero. And uh, we want to construct uh, fundamental solutions. We want to construct a symbol function of fundamental solutions. And uh, we consider a function of X and Cushy zero uh, <coughs> satisfies, uh, satisfying these relations. And uh, as an approximation of the uh, solution, uh, we use uh, the operator it zero. The symbol function of uh, this operator is the exponential to uh, minus uh, integral h dt. Uh, because if time is zero, then this becomes one. So i zero zero satisfies these relations. And uh, if we differentiate in t, then a minus function h appears. So minus function h uh, plus uh, operator h is very close to zero. So we use uh, these operators. And let delta t0 be any division of the interval zero t, like Riemann integrals, t1, t2, and so on. Then uh, connecting the solution, we can rewrite a fundamental solution as a, a multi-product of fundamental solutions. Because uh, <coughs> this case, uh, initial time is zero, and the initial function is v. And if we take initial time is t1, then initial function is ut10 v. So uh, we can uh, rewrite uh, fundamental solution as a multi-product of fundamental solution. And set small tj is the difference between capital Tj and capital Tj minus one. And the absolute value of delta T0 is the size of division, mesh of divisions. And let xj and qcj uh, <coughs> run Rd. Then the size of division tends to zero as an approximation of the fundamental solution, we use uh, these operators. Then, and uh, in my master paper, uh, I treat uh, this one. And uh, 
uh, if the size of division tends to zero under suitable condition, uh, we can uh, change a uh, uh, fundamental solution as uh, this operators. And if the size of division tends to zero, uh, we can treat a uh, fundamental solution UT2 T1 to uh, operator IT2 T1. And uh, this operator has these forms. So uh, we can rewrite fundamental solution as the limit of this multiple integrals. And uh, we compare the symbol function of the fundamental solutions. Uh, we compare these terms and these terms. So uh, furthermore, we get uh, the symbol function of fundamental solution as the limit of this multiple integrals. And, uh, but Feynman uh, considered uh, more deeply. Uh, Feynman uh, introduced a position pass QTJ called XJ and momentum pass PTJ called QCJ. Then uh, this term becomes uh, DQ. And this term becomes P. And the summation uh, implies the integrals and the integral HTQP. So <laughs> we uh, formally write uh, exponential part is the action for the pass QP. And x1, x2, qc1, qc2 run rd. So uh, this finite dimensional integral implies some over all, all piecewise constant pass uh, with the division delta t0. And if the size of division tends to zero, uh, we can take a sum over all pass. So uh, this part is a pass integral. Pass integral is the sum over all pass qp. And the expression uh, a, is called the time slicing approximations. However, uh, if we uh, treat this mathematically, uh, we meet troubles. Uh, the measure of pass integral does not exist. Why can we say the pass integral is a kind of integrals? Uh, even in the sense of physics, uh, phase space case is uh, more troubles. Uh, it is not possible to have sharp position and momentum P at the same time t, because uncertain principle exists. Why can we say QP are phase space pass? And uh, more trouble exists. Uh, in this method, uh, uh, in, uh, in phase space pass integral, a uh, formal calculation uh, can give just plain wrong answers. So uh, many mathematical approach exists. Uh, Schrodinger type is, is many. Uh, Dobeshi and Crowder uh, treat this as coherent space pass integrals. And Albebelio, Gatteri, and Mazuchi uh, treat this as infinite dimensional oscillatory integrals. And uh, Chernoff formula and white noise analysis. And uh, my approach is uh, using a pseudo differential operator, uh, the, using the technique of uh, pseudo differential operator, I, uh, we try to treat this. And a uh, parabolic case, uh, uh, parabolic type of higher order is very few results <laughs> because uh, this is a uh, uh, easy problem. So, <laughs> but I, I write, uh, I, I write up one paper uh, uh, by pseudo differential operators. And uh, my result uh, is the following. Uh, using the time slicing approximation, we prove the existence of uh, phase space pass integral of parabolic type with general functional as integral. Uh, we regard a uh, previous uh, pass integral is uh, F equivalent to one case. Uh, what is the existence? Uh, more precisely, uh, we give two general sets of functional such that for any functional uh, belonging to our set of functional FQ or FP. The time slicing approximation converges uniformly on compact subset with respect to the final point of a position pass and the initial point of momentum pass. A position and momentum exist. So we can say this is a phase space pass. 
And furthermore, we prove some property of the phase space path integral similar to some property of standard integrals. So we can say this is a kind of integrals. But uh, uncertain principle exists. Uh, to avoid the uncertain principle, we do not treat uh, position and momentum at the same time t. Uh, in order to treat the position at time t, we introduce the set of functional FQ. Uh, in order to treat the momentum at time t, uh, we introduce the set of functional FP. Uh, however, uh, in the sense of operator, and if time is different, uh, we can treat uh, position and momentum. And uh, now we and I now I explain the uh, our main result. Our assumption uh, for the parabolic operator is the following. Uh, bracket, Japanese bracket Kushi is one uh, square root, one plus square, a uh, Kushi squared. And M is positive. Uh, let HTX C be a complex valued infinity function satisfying the following estimate. Uh, this estimate uh, is a, a typical <coughs> of a, Typical assumptions. And uh, I give an example. <laughs> a typical example of Hamiltonian function is uh, <laughs> this Holmes. Uh, a is a uh, uh, function and uh, C, but uh, real part of uh, A is a uh, uh, positive. And uh, uh, in my result, uh, 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 in a similar result uh, valid in the Schrodinger case. In the Schrodinger case, we assume uh, these conditions. Uh, if we differentiate two times, H becomes a bounded function. And uh, <coughs> now I explain a piecewise constant pass. Uh, let delta T0 be any division of the interval 0T, T1, T2, and so on. And the set small Tj is the difference between capital Tj and capital Tj minus 1. And the absolute value of delta T0 is the size of division, mesh of divisions. A set xj plus 1 equal x, and xj cj ran rd. We define the position pass q delta. Q delta is a piecewise constant and left continuous. And the momentum pass is a piecewise constant and right continuous. And we use a piecewise constant as pass many times. So uh, we write Q uh, belong to the uh, set Q. Uh, if Q is left continuous and piecewise constant, uh, that is Q equal Q delta T0. Uh, we write uh, momentum pass P belong to the set P. If P is right continuous and piecewise it's constant, uh, that is P equal P delta T0. Uh, if we push into a piecewise constant pass to the action, uh, action functionals, then action functional uh, becomes a, a function of finite number of variables. Uh, this is a pass. Uh, DQ, DQ is a piecewise constant pass, so this is almost zero. But uh, piecewise constant pass has a jump point. Jump point make this part. Uh, so if we push into piecewise constant pass, uh, action functional uh, becomes the same function as introductions. Uh, in order to treat the function of introductions, uh, we introduce the uh, piecewise constant pass. And uh, in my statement, a uh, general functional f is important. Uh, f is general, but if we give x1, x2, qc1, qc2, then a piecewise constant pass are determined. If a pass are determined, then the value of functional are determined. So uh, this is a function of a finite number of variables. So we can consider finite dimensional integrals. And uh, in my statement, uh, two set of functional are important. Uh, definition of two set of functional are following. Uh, let fq b be a functional of a piecewise constant pass. And for any divisions, uh, we assume <coughs> a function f delta is a C unity functions. Uh, we write FQP as 
belong to the set of functional FQ if FQP satisfies the data assumption F1. And we write FQP belong to the set of functional FP if FQP satisfies the data assumption F2. In order to treat the position at time t, we, we introduce the set of functional FQ. In order to treat the momentum at time t, we introduce the class FP. And uh, assumption F1 and F2 uh, is a key for the existence of path integrals. However, for the sake of simplicity, we will state how to define assumption F1, F2 later. And uh, my main result is the following. Uh, for any functional belonging to our uh, set of functional FQ or FP, uh, if we push into the piecewise constant pass, then a functional becomes the function of finite number of variables. And so we can consider finite dimensional integrals. And uh, this finite dimensional integral exists. And if the size of division tends to zero, uh, this finite dimensional integral converges uniformly on compact subset with respect to x and qc zero and x zero. And here we treat the multiple integral as oscillatory integrals. What is the difficulty point? Uh, even when f equivalent to one, even when the case of uh, introductions, each integral of right hand side does not always uh, converge absolutely. Uh, because if we take absolute value, uh, then uh, integral becomes infinity. So, and the number, uh, j, uh, number j of uh, division point uh, tends to infinity. The number j of uh, integral tends to infinity. So, infinity times, infinity times, so on. Uh, many books uh, treat pass integral uh, by, uh, using uh, by operator. But uh, operator approach treat integral one by one as operators. And, uh, Pass integral has no measure. A measure theory a treat only the base of integrals. And the key of theorem one is the following. On the other hand, we treat the multiple integral directly as an oscillatory integral. Operator approach treat integral one by one as operator, but we treat multiple integral directly because a uh, pass implies the multiple integrals. Then uh, we can use the property of piecewise constant pass inside the multiple integrals. And uh, now we prove theorem one. Uh, to prove the convergence of uh, multiple integral, uh, we have only to add many assumptions to an uh, amplitude function so that the uh, multiple integral converge. And to define the two set of functional by these assumptions. And uh, do not consider other things. Then the set FQ of FP will be larger as a set and will contain at least one example, F equivalent to one, because the uh, result of introduction exists. Uh, to add many assumptions is always valid in mathematics, but uh, uh, we need at least one example, but in this case, we have uh, one example. So uh, this is a safe, <coughs> safe, uh, so, so, this, uh, so this is safe. And uh, add the assumption closed under addition and multiplication. Then the set of functional uh, will be closed under addition and multiplication. And uh, our proof consists of three steps. Uh, first step, Control this multiple integral by j's power of constant. Uh, j is the number of uh, integrals. And the second step, uh, control uh, multiple integral by single c independent of j tends to infinity. Uh, we use the size of division tends to zero. And the last step, add the assumption so that the multiple integral converge as the size of division tends to zero. And our assumption is the following. Uh, the number, of, uh, if we uh, use piecewise constant pass, then a functional becomes the 
a function of finite number of variables. And if the size of division tends to zero, a number of variables tends to infinity. But if we assume uh, this uh, function are controlled by j's power of constant, then this, con this one, j's power of constant, then uh, we can control this multiple integral by j's power of constant. And the second step, uh, we assume for any divisions. Uh, this implies uh, if pass is one, uh, we can control b1. And if pass is two, we can control b2. Uh, if pass is three, uh, we can control b3. Uh, using the stationary phase method, we can change the pass simpler and simpler and simpler. Then uh, we can control this multiple integral by sing single C independent of J tends to infinity. And the third step, <coughs> A major theory uh, only considers the base, but integral is area. Uh, we can use height. Uh, this, uh, uh, this assumption implies if we differentiate x, then a small term uk appears. And this implies if the uh, difference of two paths is small, then a difference of two height is small. If we assume this uh, condition, uh, this multiple integral uh, converge as the size of division tends to zero. And uh, I explain the detail of convergence. Uh, we set uh, the multiple integral uh, as a function of xj plus and xc zero and x zero. Then uh, this function is bounded. And if the size of division tends to zero, uh, this function converge some function b. So pass integral exists. And uh, in my statement, uh, <coughs> general function, uh, functional is important. So I give examples. Uh, a typical example of uh, our functional is the following. Uh, if B is polynomial order, then the value at the time T uh, belong, uh, uh, the value of position at the time T uh, belong to class FQ. And, uh, 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 and B uh, is a polynomial order, then a uh, momentum at the time T belong to class FP. In particular, F equivalent to one uh, belong to both class. And uh, if uh, B is bounded, uh, beta equal zero case bounded, uh, belong to uh, both class. And uh, we, uh, in, in this talk, uh, I treat a parabolic equation of a higher order. Uh, in order to decrease the order of Qc, uh, we uh, introduce, uh, we use uh, asymptotic expansions. So Qc uh, <coughs> decrease is necessary. And uh, as a remark, uh, to avoid the uncertain principle, we do not treat position and momentum at the same time t. Uh, in order to treat the position at time t, we introduce the class FQ. And uh, in order to treat the momentum at time t, we introduce the class FP. But uh, if time is different, uh, we can treat the uh, product of position and momentum in the sense of operator. And, uh, <coughs> in, uh, and I uh, define the functional derivatives. For any uh, piecewise constant pass Q and Q prime and P and P prime, we define the functional derivative uh, along uh, Q prime and P prime as follows. And uh, we only consider a piecewise constant pass. So let delta T zero contain all time Q or Q and Q prime P or P prime breaks. We uh, choose uh, these uh, divisions. Then, a q plus theta q prime, p plus theta q prime uh, uh, p, uh, become a piecewise constant pass with the same divisions. So we can rewrite functional as a function form. Therefore, we can treat the functional derivative as a function. 
Uh, because we use only piecewise constant pass, the functional derivative is easy to treat. And Q prime zero is the direction of position pass, and zero P prime is the direction of momentum pass. And uh, in, the, in my statement, the set of functional are important. Uh, the uh, algebra of a set of functional are following. For any functional uh, f and g belong to the uh, class a set of fq. Uh, in order to treat the position at time t, we introduce a class fq. Uh, <coughs> fq satisfies the following. Uh, the sum f plus g also belong to our class fq. And the product f times g also belong to uh, also phase space pass integrals. And any uh, piecewise constant as q prime and p prime, the translation uh, is a uh, belong to class FQ. And uh, a real matrix V and W uh, uh, is a phase space pass integral. And the functional derivative is a uh, belong to our class FQ. And uh, in order to treat the momentum at time t, uh, we introduce a class FP. Uh, class FP are closed under addition and multiplication and translation and real, trans uh, real linear transformation and functional differentiations. Applying theorem three to the theorem one, we can produce many functional uh, that are pass integrals. And in the Schrodinger case, uh, same statement are valid. However, uh, we must note which operation are valid in the phase space pass integrals. The action of uh, does not always have good property under these operations. Therefore, and the pass integral consists of action part and amplitude function, functionals. So uh, we must pay attention to which operation are valid in the phase space pass integrals. So uh, for the property of phase space pass integral, we have only to prove the property that we can prove it, and to give up the property that we cannot prove. It. And uh, next we explain the uh, property of phase space pass integrals. Uh, Fubiri type several is the following. Uh, B is the polynomial order. Then for any functional belonging to our set of functional FQ, uh, we have the following. In the left-hand side, uh, first we integrate with respect to time. And the next we take some of our old pass. But in the right-hand side, first we integrate with respect to pass. And the next we integrate with respect to time. So this is uh, Fibonacci type theorems. And uh, the set of FP uh, satisfies a similar result. In the left, uh, we do pass integral after the uh, integral with respect to time. And uh, in the right, we do the pass integral uh, before the integral with respect to time. And, uh, uh, we do not treat position and momentum at the same moment t. So two statements are necessary. And in the Schrodinger case, theorem 4 is valid. <laughs> and uh, a key of uh, our proof is the following. Uh, by theorem 1, uh, the left-hand side Feynman pass integral as the limit of this multiple integrals. And uh, we, treat, uh, uh, we treat the multiple integral directly. So we can uh, use the property of pass. Uh, if time is t here, then pa uh, particle is here. A particle uh, move continuously uh, on this line. And uh, this is uh, inside the uh, limit. Uh, this is uh, finite dimensional integrals. So uh, we can. Uh, interchange the uh, order of a finite uh, dimensional integral and uh, the integration with respect to time. And, uh, and uh, by theorem one, uh, interchange the order of limitation and uh, integration with respect to time, uh, we have the following. So we can uh, interchange the order of pass integration and uh, uh, integration with respect to time. And uh, we can interchange the order of pass integration and some limit operations. So uh, perturbation, uh, perturbative expansion are uh, valid. And the next property is the translation with respect to pass. Uh, 
uh, for any momentum pass p prime uh, <laughs> exponential of the difference of uh, p prime belong to the uh, set of functional fq and uh, we have the following in the left hand side first we move all pass by p prime and the next we take some over all pass but in the right hand side first we move only starting point by p prime and the next we take some over all pass so the translation for all pass equal to the translation for initial point and the final point because we take some over all pass uh, however uh, <coughs> parabolic case i cannot prove uh, position pass case uh, schrodinger case uh, I, I can prove uh, both statement, but uh, parabolic case, uh, and uh, I treat the uh, parabolic equation of higher order. So uh, order of Cushy, uh, the de decrease of order of Cushy is ne necessary. So I cannot prove this now. And now I explain the uh, key of proof of theorem uh, five. By theorem one, the left hand side Feynman pass integral as a limit of uh, this uh, finite dimensional integrals. And uh, here, Q, t, Q delta Tj equal Xj, P delta Tj equal Xj. And uh, uh, this, by a uh, first statement, uh, guarantees the existence of pass integral. So we can choose any divisions. And, uh, P prime is a piecewise constant pass. So uh, we choose division delta T0 that contain all time P prime jump uh, breaks. And set P prime uh, T equal to Cj minus one. Then P delta P prime is a piecewise constant pass with the same divisions because constant plus constant is a constant. Constant plus constant is a so constant. So uh, we can rewrite functional as a function of finite number of variables. And this is a finite dimensional integrals. So uh, uh, inside, the, uh, limit, uh, inside the limit, uh, this is finite dimensional integrals. So uh, we can change the variable QCJ prime to QCJ, pr uh, QCJ plus QCJ prime to QCJ. Then uh, uh, we can change it the variables. And this is finite dimensional integrals. But this implies a pass if which start to QC0 plus P prime and jump and QC1 and jump and QC2. And so uh, this uh, implies the uh, uh, left uh, right hand side of Feynman pass integrals. So uh, the translation for all pass equals to the translation for initial point and final points. And uh, also, uh, next property is also normal transformation with respect to pass. In the left hand, uh, Q is also normal matrix. Uh, in the left hand side, uh, first we rotate all pass by Q, and next we take some over all pass. But in the right hand side, first we move only starting point by Q. As uh, only a starting point and end point by Q. And the next we take some over all pass. So uh, this implies also normal transformation for all pass equal to the also normal transformation for initial point and final point because we take some over all pass. And uh, proof is uh, similar. And uh, last property is the integration by part formula with respect to functional differentiations. For any momentum pass P prime, a functional derivative belong to the a set of functional FQ. In order to treat the position at time T, we introduce a class FQ. For any functional belonging to our class FQ, we have the following. In the left hand side, we differentiate F, but in the right hand side, we differentiate exponential. And by chain rule, this term appears. And uh, the set of FP uh, satisfies the uh, same properties. In the left hand side, uh, we differentiate F, but in the right hand side, we differentiate exponentials. And uh, in the Schrodinger case, theorem seven are valid. And uh, set F equivalent to one. Then, uh, and note that uh, 
phi uh, is the action functionals. Then we can rewrite theorem seven as uh, follows. For any uh, momentum plus P prime, uh, we have the following. And uh, for any uh, position plus Q prime, uh, uh, we have the following. The inside of pass integral are similar to the canonical equations. And uh, <coughs> I want to uh, explain uh, my recent work, uh, phase space pass integral on torus case. Uh, let uh, capital T is a time parameter. And uh, X run, uh, not Euclidean space, X run uh, torus. Uh, by the Fourier series expansion uh, with respect to x0. And q0 uh, is the integer. Uh, we can write a function v as this forms. Uh, if we differentiate in x, then uh, x is only here, uh, q0 appears. So uh, we can rewrite Hamiltonian operator as a a function of x and q0. So uh, by replacing uh, uh, xj, uh, xj in Euclidean space and qj in Euclidean space with xj in a torus and qj in, uh, QCJ in the set of uh, integer, uh, we can uh, construct the phase space path integral with general function on the torus, uh, which has a property uh, similar to the uh, property on uh, Euclidean space. And uh, now uh, I am writing in uh, this paper. Uh, thank you very much.